Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about the median of group data. Last time, we had a time video with regards to the mean, median, and mode of ungrouped data. At we have a uploaded video para naman sa pagkakalculate ng mean of group data. So, kung gusto mo siya matutunan or kung gusto mo panoorin yung videos natin with regards to those topics, ilalagay ko yung ating links sa ating description box at makikita mo rin siya dito. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, basically guys, yung target talaga natin dito is all about the median of group data. Ang tanong, Sir, how do we calculate for the median of group data? So, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano, given this problem, based on the data below, calculate for the median. Ito yung formula natin for the median. At ito naman yung given data set natin, wherein, this data set or this given table, ito yung data ng mga taong uh, wherein recorded yung time kung gaano kahaba yung travel nila from home or from their house to their works, workplace. So ito yung data natin. And for the formula naman, ito yung median is equal to, this is your, the lower boundary of your median class plus n over 2 minus less than community frequency over the frequency of your median class times your interval or i. So basically guys, ang kailangan natin gawin dito muna-una is to complete first this table at kunin natin yung value ng bawat elements na kailangan natin sa ating formula. So ang una, ang una natin gagawin for this table is to complete the column for the community frequency. Ano kay, um, normally guys, wala itong column na ito. Ito lang yung given sa mga sinasagutan natin, sa mga books, sa mga worksheets. Kung wala kayong makita na ito, wala kayong third column, you can add the third column for the cumulative frequency. So ang tanong dito, sir, paano ba kinakompleto ang, ang column for the cumulative frequency? Una, puntahan nyo muna yung uh, huling class nyo, which is 8. Yung kanya frequency sa ito yung frequencies na bawat classes na meron tayo. Mag-start ka sa 8. Copy nyo lang yung 8 na meron kaya sa pinakaunang frequency. And then, to get the other uh, less than community frequency, 8 plus 14, that will give you 22. Again, copy first the, the first frequency, which is 8. And then, to get the next number, 8 plus 14, pasigsag lang tayo. 8 plus 14, that is 22. And then, 22 plus 12, that will give you 30. Four. Pasigsag tayo, pagano'n tayo, ha? Yan. And the next natin is that we will add 34 plus 9. That will give us 43. And lastly, 43 plus 7. That will give you 50. So, ibig sabihin nito, guys, pag in natin yung frequency natin, ang next natin gawin kasi is to add the frequency to find the value of n. Or total number of observation, this is also 50. Kasi ito ay 50. So add natin, try natin. 7 plus 9, that is 13. Ah, sorry, 16. Plus 12, that will give you 28. Plus 14, that is 42. Plus 8, that is 50. So parehas lang sila. And so kapag nakuha na natin yung n natin, we can go to the formula. And ang una natin gagawin is to find your median class. Sir, paano po kinukuha ang median class? To find your median class, kailangan mong gamitin tong formula natin. N over 2. Again, N over 2. Yung N natin, which is 50, yung mo ito, 50 divided by 2. And that is 25. So, ano pong ibig sabihin ng 25 na nakuha natin or na-calculate natin gamit yung formula na N over 2. Ito yung 25th score. Again, 25th score. Hanapin natin sa frequencies natin kung nasaan si 25th score or si 25th, yung pang 25. 25. So, itong 8 natin sa unang frequency natin, which is 8, ang ibig sabihin niya is from 1st to 8. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 
6, 7, and 8. And then meron tayong 14, which is 8 plus 14, which is 22. And then kapag kinuha natin yung four, uh, 22 plus 14, this is 36. Ngayon, alam natin na 8 plus 14 is 22. Hanggang 20 second, hanggang 20 second lang to. Ang 25th natin ay nandito sa frequency na to. Kasi nandito yung hanggang 36. Okay? 25th ang hanap natin, pasok dito yung 25th natin. Ibig sabihin, if this is your, if nandito yung 25th mo, ang ibig sabihin yun, your median class is this. At imagine class natin. Okay? At imagine class natin. So, what will happen? Kung na-identify mo na ngayon yung median class mo, ito na ngayon mag-dictate ng mga values na meron ka dito. Okay? Ito na ngayon yung mag-dictate ng mga values na kailangan mo sa formula. So, let's start. Una, lower boundary of your median class. If your median class is 21 to 30, puntahan mo yung 21 Para makuha mo yung kanya median class, kailangan mong i-add yung dalawang to. 21 plus 20 is 41 and then divided by 2. That will give you 20.5. Pero ang shortcut nito, at yung median class ha, 21 to 30, mag-subtract ka lang ng 0 0.5. And 20 minus 0 0.5, your x, your the lower boundary of your median class is equal to 20.5. Five. Again, sir, paano po rin nakuha yung, inyo, yung ating lower boundary of the median class? Ito yung, medi ito yung median class. Ang gagawin mo lang naman is puntahan mo yung pinakamababang number which is 21, 30 to 21 and then subtract 0 0.5 and that's it. You have 20.5. Okay? So next naman natin. We are done with this one. Okay na rin tayo dito. Puntahan natin yung ating less than community frequency. Kaya sa less than community frequency kasi Siya yung, free, yung community frequency before the median class. If this is your median class, puntahan mo yung class sa ilalim niya. Which is 11 to 20. To 20. So yung frequency dito, o yung community frequency dito, ito yung gagamitin natin, which is, yung ating less than community frequency is equal to 22. Or pwede nang isipin dito, na ito yung median class mo, this is 34, yung nasa ilalim. So, 22. Okay? So, next naman natin is for the frequency of the median class. Yung FM natin. F sub M. For the frequency of the median class, this is your median class, ito yung frequency niya. So, this is 12. And lastly, yung ating interval, which is I. For the, for the interval I, Lahat ng ating classes dito, starting from 1 to 10 hanggang 41 to 50, pare-pareha sa kailang class interval. And then, kuha ka ng isang class dito, bilangin mo yung interval nila. Dito tayo mag-focus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, ang iyong interval is equal to 10. Sir, check nga natin yung ibang classes kung pare-pareha sa batalang interval natin. So, mag try natin mag-focus dito. 31 to 40. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Lahat yan 10. Ito ay equal kay 10. Now, since kung gato na yung ating elements for the formula, we can start using this formula. We have this x median is equal to, kita ko lang ito ng konti eh. Median is equal to n over, ito man tayo, uh, the lower boundary of your median class which is 20.5 plus yung value ng n over 2 natin which is 25, 25, you have your 25 minus your less than cumulative frequency which is equal to 2. So 25 minus 2 over your the frequency of your median class, which is 12, times your class interval, which is 10. Ngayon, simplify natin, pandas muna tayo. Unahin natin to. Okay? So, ito muna tayo. It's equal to 20.5 plus, yung sa loob na ng parenthesis, um, 25 minus 25 minus 12, that, uh, minus 22, that is 3 
over 12 and then times 10. Okay? Now, para dito, median is equal to 20.5 plus itong ating 3 over 12, that is 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Kailangan yung divide yan. You can use your calculator. Ako meron akong calculator dito sa aking iPad. Kung wala kang scientific calculator, you can download sa inyong mobile phone or iPad. Pwede rin naman. So, 3 over 12, check natin na, that is 0 0.25. 3 divided by 12. Okay, 0 0.25 times 10. So, times 10 natin siya. Times 10. That will give you 2.5. So, 2.5. 0 0.25 times 10, that is 2.5. Plus 20.5. Kapag inag natin ito, yung median natin is equal to 23. This is the median of the given data set na meron tayo. Sir, sir, anong ibig sabihin po nito? Ibig sabihin po nito, with regards to the median, ito yung centro ng ating given data set. Eh, meron akong bibigay sa yung technique. To check whether your answer is correct, puntahan yung, yung median class. Your median class is 21 to 30. And look, the value of your median is 23. Kapag pasok siya dito, ibig sabihin tama ka. Which is in 23 natin is inside. Or pasok sa range ng 21 to 30 natin. Ibig sabihin, tama yung calculation mo ng median. So, I hope na natuto ka sa ating video with regards to the median of group data. And sana makonsider mong i-like at mag-subscribe sa ating channel. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher God. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye!